Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Hi, hey, Alex. Nice to yes. see you. Hi, good to see you again. So, well, we've had some fascinating discussions. Yeah. I've been listening yeah. and trying to uh, get a grasp of your, your theory. Um, and I have to admit that uh, it's going to take me uh, some time to... Um, fully understand the uh, the biology of it and uh, the the quantum aspects. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, you have to come also uh, to me. Yes. Uh, in a way, uh, by simplifying some of your language. Yeah. And um, and to your and to those people out there. Um, scientists and uh, well, for scientists, I suppose uh, the, the language would not be a barrier. But for lay people, depending on who you want to, I mean, certainly for the um, theological aspect of your theory and your 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 desire to attach your biological findings to Christology. Yeah. Um, you want to reach lay people who uh, believe in the Christian message and uh, who would be in, uh, invigorated and excited to, to, to know that there is a biological theory which um, gives evidence uh, for the, um, the existence of Christ and, 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 and how his powers actually functioned. Yeah. Yeah. So um now uh um we've talked about the you've talked about the fourfold uh and uh its uh analogy to uh the the cross in uh in Christian uh theology. Yeah. Uh the the um okay, can you can you how 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 do you say that in your theory the fourfold can you can you remind me of that so for me i talk about a mirrored symmetry right yeah so the 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 idea of a mirror pointing at uh -huh. a mirror so two mirrors facing each other and and so right. the light and the sense is bouncing back and forward but in between the mirrors, there's a single point. And so right. it's like a pinhole camera. And if you've ever um, made a pinhole camera out of a box and, and what you see is when the light travels through the pinhole, the top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top in a sense mm -hmm. that the image is inverted. It's turned upside down. Yes. Yes, I, I I vaguely I vaguely remember that from all level <laughs> physics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, so, yes, yes, so yes, the yes, idea yes, is yes. that at the center in between the mirrors, two mirrors, yes. there's a pinhole yes. that changes the orientation of the from up to down, yes. from down to up. So yes, in yes, a sense, yes. the image that's projected from the outside is turned upside down on the inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. in a way there is a balance of opposites okay right so we right and, down and, and we've, down and we've talked about the balance of opposites in terms yeah. of the so that's a very, theory. i guess a very newtonian position right that every action has an equal and opposite reaction and the idea right. that that energy in the in thermodynamics, that energy cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed. It can only be transformed. So the kind of mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. law of mm -hmm. thermodynamics is that, well, the heat energy in a system has to go somewhere, right? It has to do something. Um, right. And, and it reaches a point of, if you've got lots of things on one side and, and nothing on the other and you open the right. doorway between the two then yes. up on this side will travel so that there's an equal amount on both sides so there's a point of equilibrium right okay 
Okay, okay, that's that's a very good explanation of, of what of, of what you're doing. Yeah, yes. so the point of yes. equilibrium yes. corresponds to the inversion point, the singularity point between the two opposite sides, the inside. Right, and the right. So we can conceptualize right. that through my dynamic understanding of mm -hmm. it's at the point of equilibrium. Right, right, right. So okay. When the reaction so we have, is going this we, way, we is have a equal. mirror effect. Yeah. We have a mirror effect. Yeah. And we have energy traveling from a greater to a lesser point. Yeah. And we have um, a, a harmonious balance yes. of, of, of negative and, and, and positive. Yes. And uh, which we can uh, now we've used the yin yang uh, analogy. analogy, yeah. Um, but uh, the question I want to pose to you in this session, Karen, yeah. is um, when you make the claim that uh, your theory provides scientific evidence for Christology. Um, what's your philosophical or theoretical um, basis for doing so? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you have the science figured out. Yeah. But... The Christian message is not only theological, it's metaphysical. It is metaphysical. It goes beyond the physical. Yes. Um, now, there are other things that, that we're going to have to discuss in the future. I mean, one of the things that you've talked about is the fact that your theory is deterministic. And... Uh, in in the biblical tradition uh, and, and and in Christology as well, uh, we have free will, so we're going to have to try and work that that one out. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm not but, saying that we don't have free will. We have a a will that is based on. You know, we still have the ability to you know believe or or. Or not believe right so right the ability to choose to believe is still part <laughs> and the basis of our free will to do so but yeah we can get into more detail around that let's kind of yes yes let, let, let's let's um let's devote a whole session to the question of free will because the, the certainly you know um in in the tradition of thinking, in the tradition of philosophy, yeah. um, and science, um, the question of free will and determinism uh, is central. Yes, it is. So we, we yeah we'll devote a whole session to that. Um, but um, the question I'd like to pose to you in this session is um, can we come up with some sort of uh, philosophical basis for justifying your claim that your scientific model maps onto Christology? And for example, um, I might suggest, although not necessarily being a Platonist, I might suggest that Plato's theory of the intuition of eternal forms um, uh, is one way of dealing with the the, the problem, as it were. Yeah. Um, which is to say that you have intuited a form, a scientific form given to you by 
universal mind, which is the mind of God. And um, your mission, as it were, is now to share that intuition, which is a form, an eternal form, with your fellow human beings. Yes. Now, would you be receptive to that sort of uh, language? It's a language I can understand. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. I yeah. To try to speak in those terms. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the reason for for we want to the, the reason we want to do that is because we want to start unpacking the scientific technical language of your theory. Yeah. I'm currently reading your paper um, with some difficulty. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but uh, we have to unpack your language for those believers in Christ who would be invigorated uh, again uh, I, I, I repeat uh, by the idea that there's a scientific biological model um, which provides additional proof um, and explanation for the force and power and grace of God as he manifested in the form of Christ his son yes uh, um so, um, yes, 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 we have, uh, we have work to do. Okay. Um, what, what, how did you, when you were formulating your theory, mm -hmm. Can you, now you've discussed in one of our previous sessions an experience, I think, of being in church. Yes. And having an intuition in church. Yes. Going up to receive right. communion and, and, um, and as in the, that terminology, seeing internally rather than externally. Um, having right. an intuition, so being taught to see inward right. rather than outward. Very so nice. An, Very in, nice. an intuition is a, a teaching of inverting the universe to look within. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Very nice. Love, what what love thy neighbor as thyself when the photons of light that you're seeing are within you. So it is part of you that you're observing. Yes, 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 yes. In a, yes. In a Christology, uh, there's a inward-looking perspective. Uh -huh. And the, the biology associated with that is that the human have an inverted retina. What that means is that the rods and cones of the eye point inwards, not outwards. And others have kind of discussed that in terms of, well, does that actually slow the photons down in order no, to... No, okay, um, let's stop. Let's, let me stop you there. Yeah. What What is the opinion on that in the scientific community? Is that an accepted fact that uh, the, the, the retina is inverted? Yes, yep. There's an, an anatomy textbooks that's, that teach that. That's a okay. sign. Yeah, that's okay. That's, okay. You know. okay. And there's a okay. There's... So we we think we're looking out at the world when the world is actually looking into us. No, we are looking into our minds. That's generating the imagery that we perceive to be the external world. Okay, we're looking into our minds, that's which very generates much... the imagery which we think is the external world. Yes, that's very much Plato's okay. game. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to have to think about that phrase, <laughs> that sentence. It's yeah. a very interesting sentence. Yeah. Where, but yes, that 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 needs to be that needs to be mulled over. Um. Okay. 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 All right. Well, I think we should leave it there. Yeah. One um, of, one of the things I would like to add to that as a as a way of supporting that is mm -hmm. when we are asleep at night with our eyes closed. Yes. Yes, you've said dreaming. this before. Yes. We are dreaming. Yeah. We are seeing the light within the dream, within the mind. Right. 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 And, and even right. psychology and psychiatry know that the mind's producing six times more light than what you're receiving external from you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. there is a lot of scientific evidence for the fact that the mind is generating light. Mm, there you go. There you go. There you go. Back to you. Okay. 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 All right. Well, uh, fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. It's. I mean, I'm uh, truly intrigued by all of this. And because I am a uh, believer and follower of Christ, um, and uh, I'm a non-practicing Catholic, um, and uh, a non-conformist, uh, I was my father was uh, an Anglican. Yeah. And uh, like the Anglicans, I believe that uh, communion is symbolic, not uh, real. Mm -hmm. uh, I do not hold to the, 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 the claim to transubs transubstantiation that the Catholics make. Yeah, can I can I add something there? Yeah. Okay. So, if you consider the food that we eat. And the the biochemistry that is responsible for obtaining energy from food. So there, mm -hmm. there's a, a process known as glycolysis, which takes sugar, yeah. and produces um, a molecule or two of of ATP. But there's also the byproducts of that that go into a. Um, it's known as the TCA cycle or the Krebs cycle. And, and then that produces a couple of compounds known as FADH2 and NADH. So those, those kind of feed into this um, electron transport chain system in the mitochondria that's involved in the generating of a proton gradient and forming ATP in water. Um, so the model, the science model of the substance, you know, the, the changing of the bread and water into the body mm -hmm. of christ mm -hmm. in my in my science the body of christ in in essence comes down to a hydrogen right and i know that's very confronting in terms of well i look at hydrogen as the the flowing of christ within my body and you know right so it is really understanding okay, the okay that's no, that, that, that's 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 wonderful that's that's a wonderful explanation i mean i that's much more acceptable to me to to the idea that i'm drinking the blood and, and eating the body of christ <laughs> no it, it happens within you as you yeah, convert yeah. the food and water that you're drinking into in a sense your own body right it's becoming part right. of you and it becomes a holistic part of you as that hydrogen is involved in processes that make you, that make your body mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. um, no, in your theory, hydrogen is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a very important molecule. Yeah, it, it is really the foundation. Um, it is the foundation stone mm -hmm. for me in terms of biology. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll have to discuss that at further length and why that is and uh, the nature of hydrogen and, 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 and all of that. Yeah. But we've, 
covered a lot of ground uh, tonight and uh, we've uh, we've touched on some uh, fundamental uh, points so i'd i'd like to give the audience some time to uh, to 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 digest and think about what we've talked about yeah. and uh, fantastic yeah no that's that's really good stuff thanks um, yeah, I think it's the best session we've done so far. Yeah, I think we're getting um, to a stage where we're starting to connect more at the level which people could potentially um, see the connections I'm making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also philosophy talking to science, Indeed. which is, uh, which is, which, which it always has. I mean, philosophy used to be the mother of science. And uh, I mean, uh, Newton uh, wrote uh, more about uh, theology than he did about science, which is something a lot of people don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Karen. Thank well, you. Well, uh, a pleasure, as always. Thank you. Yeah. And. Uh, I look forward to our next session. Me too. Me too. So take care. Okay, Alex. Okay, thank you. Bye.